YouTube viewers. Now tonight, I'm doing a really interesting dish and I'm using halibut. Halibut comes from cooler waters round the Atlantic. So I'm doing a Mediterranean twist on the halibut. So it's like halibut Provencal from the southern part of France. So the ingredients I've got here is the tail of halibut. This is the tail. It's quite thick and very meaty. If you're not a lover of fish, then this is an ideal meat or fishy meat to have because it's so meaty. Then we've got, we've got chopped shallots. We've got crushed garlic. We've got tin of chopped tomatoes, dried mixed herbs, sliced olives, capers and then I like to put a touch of chili in it so we've got some dry chilies and tomato puree and then I'll talk you through the steps now okay so I've got my pan on now there you can see I've got a fairly um, high heat there right I'm gonna turn it down because that's nice and hot then my first ingredient is a good glug of olive oil. We put some olive oil in there. We will need, need a wooden spoon. And the first things I'm going to put is the garlic and the onion. So, best way to know whether the oil is hot. There you go, it's sizzling. So we can go in with all those shallots. These are the round shallots as opposed to the banana shallots. There's not an awful lot difference in my opinion. We give that a little stir. Now we're waiting for the shallots to go translucent. So we'll take a few a few minutes. There we go. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in that. After all, it is a Mediterranean or south of France, Provence dish. So here we go, look at that. You're missing the smell. We can smell the shallots. I'm going to put the onions in the, sorry, I mean the garlic. That's going in. That was two good, good size cloves of garlic. This dish is going to be enough for two people. Now we go on to the next step. We're going to put some mixed herbs. These are dried mixed herbs. It's a pinch. I'm going to just turn the fire down a shade. A little bit of garlic, just a little bit of warmth there. I'm not putting too much. Was that chilli you just put in, darling? That was chilli in there. Tin of chopped tomatoes. You see the tomato in the bottom there? What I'm going to do is I've got a little bit of red wine left over from Sunday. I'm going to put a little bit of wine in there. Swill it around and add that to the dish. And of course, we recycle the tin. A little bit of tomato puree. Just about a couple of teaspoonfuls. And then we need to cook that out. Well, 
we'll stir it in first. We'll give that a lovely mix. I'm gonna turn the heat up now, because these dishes really hold, hold the dish, the heat rather. And I'm gonna put some salt and pepper This is black pepper. If it was like a white sauce, then you would want to use white pepper. But again, because this is um, Provencal, lots of tomatoes. And we just turn that right up now, get it bubbling. I want to cook it out a little bit before I put the fish into it. Mixed olives, black and green. A few capers. Again, this is to taste. I'm gonna turn that down now. And then this is our meaty halibut. I'm just popping it in there, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more salt and pepper on top of those fish steaks, that halibut from around the British Isles, the lovely fish that we have in our waters. And we do that and I'm going to let that cook for 15 to 20 minutes and then we'll see how it comes out. Here we go, the moment of truth. Wow. Look at that. So here I'm going to dish up the halibut Provencal. I'm serving rice with it tonight. So we've got some rice there. We've got these lovely steaks of halibut. Put one there. Now the tendency is always to overcook fish, but the reason or the way you can tell that fish is cooked is by pressing. You see, it just, it just gives. All right. So, we've got the capers in there. We've got the olives, we've got the tomato, the garlic and the shallots. And here we are. We've got halibut, Provencal, served with rice. Enjoy. <laughs> 